Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a recipe for roasted pumpkin soup. It's full of flavor and very easy to make. So if you would like to learn how to make it, then just keep on watching. For the soup, I'm roasting the pumpkin, which I think gives it a lot more flavor than if you were to boil it. So to start off with, remove the seeds from half of a small pumpkin, about one kg or a little over two pounds. You can save the seeds if you would like and roast them as well. They're great in salads or as a snack. Once you've removed the seeds, cut the pumpkin into wedges. If you don't have as much time, cut it into smaller pieces and it will roast a lot faster. Place the wedges of pumpkin into a dish and pour over some oil. Season with some salt and pepper. I'll have a link to my website in the information box which has a printable version of this recipe. Place the pumpkin into a preheated oven and roast for about 1-2 to two hours or until the pumpkin is soft and caramelised at the edges. Leave it to cool while you prepare the remaining ingredients. In a medium sized pan, heat a small amount of oil over medium heat. Slice up an onion and add it to the pan. Make sure to keep the heat medium as you don't want to add colour to the onion, you just want to cook it until it becomes soft and clear. Dice up 3 cloves of garlic and add these to the pan also. Continue cooking for about 10 minutes. While the onion and garlic are cooking, I'm going to remove the flesh of the pumpkin from the skin. The pumpkin should be soft and cooled down by now so it should come out easily. Just use a spoon and scoop it out into a bowl. By this time the onion and garlic should be soft. Here is the time to add any flavourings you would like to the soup. There are endless possibilities but I'm using a tablespoon of ground coriander. Add it to the pan and cook until fragrant. Now start adding your stock. Depending on the consistency you would like your soup to be, only add half of your stock first. If you would like it thinner, you can always add more when you blend it. Stir to make sure everything is combined. Add the stock mixture and pumpkin to a blender or a pot if you're going to be using a stick blender. Blend until everything is completely smooth. If you would like it in a soup, here is the time to just add more stock. Pour your soup into a bowl, garnishing with some cream and parsley, and serve with some crusty bread. This soup freezes great, so don't be afraid to make an extra large batch. It's perfect for lunches. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye!